You might be wondering what this is. Why there are so many circles here? So, don't get confused. Conf uh, don't, don't, get, don't get confused. I am going to show you what this is. So, this is Corel Draw. So, here in Corel Draw, we have something called Smart Fill. Okay. I hope this is Smart Fill. Yeah, Smart Fill tool. So, zoom in. So, I have drawn these circles with this elliptical tool. Ellipse tool, sorry. Ellipse. So, after drawing these circles, I'm using this smart fill tool and you just need to click here and it separates the shapes yeah I haven't filled it yet and I'm just filling it with the smart fill tool all these are not filled just uh, outlines are there and with the help of smart fill tool I'm filling colors okay like this the circles remain as they are they're not affected uh, so these fill are kind of new objects above these circles Keep watching, you will see what this is. So by now, I think you have already seen what it is. Okay. So what's this? Yes, this is the Twitter logo. Okay. So what you need to do is just select the part, part of the logo, the whole part of the logo, and drag here, holding the control key, and then after you drag it out of the, uh, what do I say, out of the shape, out of the uh, logo, uh, you just need to click the right click button. So you have a new object here. This is not uh, affected. Affected. So you have this thing, new thing. You just need to delete them. Select and delete your circles. Okay. So here's one circle. I guess still mm, is there. Yeah. There's a yeah. It's gone. So. Now what you need to do is uh, select them all and remove the outline color. The right click here. Okay. Then you can see this weld. Click on weld and you are done. You have this Twitter logo. And I guess this color the color of Twitter logo, logo is this one, cyan. Yeah, this is more like Twitter logo. So what I'm gonna, uh, what I was trying to show is that a lot of a lot of logos are made this way. First, what they do, what what the designer do is, uh, what the designers do is they sketch. They do a rough sketch and they import the sketch into their software. Some people use Corel-Draw and a lot of people use um, Illustrator. I'm doing it on uh, Corel-Draw. They bring the sketch on, uh, in the software and they just draw circles like these and they, they try to balance them. They try to fit the uh, fit their sketch inside those circles or let's say they try to f uh, fit the circles inside their sketch 
and this way they draw circles around them, you know, their sketch. Just to make sure that they get the, um, you know, exact, like, uh, what do you say, exact shapes, um, symmetrical or not not sketchy, let's say. Or let's say balanced shape. Uh, so in this way you can draw anything, any logo. There are many logos that are uh, created in this with this technique. So there are logo designers who use this technique very often. You know, they like to do this in every each and every logo. I don't use it much, but then I just want to I wanted to show you that this can be done to create a logo. Hope you liked the video. Take care. Goodbye.